hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we have an update and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys so guys um i'm here to talk about uh, the current happening in the palace and the rumor concerning um, Queen Naomi returning back to the palace. Please, for the sake of those watching me, uh, watching me for the first time, or those seeing my video for the first time, and uh, who do not know uh, who Queen Naomi is, she was the fourth wife of um, of uh, Oni, but uh, second official wife to Oni as a king. She left the palace about seven months ago because of series of issues in the palace, and that was really... You know that issues was really affecting her mental being and uh, she tried fixing the whole thing but it wasn't just working out for her so she decided to you know divorce her husband she's also a prophetess her marriage last uh, last uh, only three years and um, she had a son um, for Oni so that is her little story so guys um, my purpose of this video is to talk about the Rumor concerning um, Queen Naomi going back to the palace, the side attractions, um, and um, you know the current happening in the palace as well. Talking about Queen Naomi going back to the palace, it's a good thing if it's true, but no one knows yeah, the truth about that because she has not said anything concerning it, even though she owes no one validation on that, if it's true or not, you know. But for me, I see, is that I see it as a mere speculation. And if it's true that she's returning back to the palace, I think uh, the king has to do a lot of amendment in the palace so she can stay there peacefully. Why I'm saying this is because uh, uh, this wasn't her first time leaving the palace. If Oni doesn't fix whatever that made her leave, she will still face the same issue that actually made her divorce him. So let her make sure she... Um, she doesn't go back just like that without only amending all the issues going on in the palace. And those things she said uh, about Oni just few uh, like few weeks ago, Queen Naomi indirectly said a whole lot about her stay in the palace. That was in her recent interview with um, Pastor Mrs. Um, Fuke Adejuma. And in that interview, she did not only pass her message to everyone on why she left the palace, but I think she also passed the message to the husband as well. So it's left for the man to, you know, uh, make amendments. Those things that she pointed out, let her see, sorry, let him see the way he will make amendment on that. That is if truly Queen Naomi is going back to the pal palace because I don't see that. But if it's true, she's going back to the palace. I think th that would be a better, uh, this thing, uh, way uh, Oni would do it. So that she coming back to the palace, she has to be comfortable. Secondly, um, side attraction was uh, another problem that somehow made her leave the palace, even though she wasn't uh, accepting it. But of course, uh, you guys know now, we the online analyzers, we know the whole thing, we understand the whole thing. So, so let him fix that as well, because uh, I remember people were saying and making a lot of true on uh, Queen Naomi that she doesn't want the king to marry another wife knowing full well that uh, he is a king and he's entitled to marry as many wives as uh, he can but Queen Naomi somehow debunked the whole thing um that was on the instagram where she uh, talked about her divorce but for me i see it as as um what played her major role in leaving the palace so she has to properly address it too because when she returned back Honestly, those people will make it even hotter for her to stay. So guys, uh, the recent happening in the palace is that um, when uh, Queen Naomi left the palace, you know, all those women, they lied very low, you know, like as if nothing has happened. All of them have just been there. Oni has not really said anything. But now they all stood, I don't know, maybe because they heard uh, that Queen Naomi is coming back. So they are making it um, hotter for the king in the palace because, um, you know, he refused uh, replacing any of them in the place of Queen Naomi. So they are fighting over the replacement of Queen Naomi, all of them there. 
and uh, I think um, um, they don't want her to come back and uh, the only himself is not even willing to replace any of them in her position well reasons uh, for me uh, the reason best known to him why he don't want to replace anyone so maybe um, Queen Naomi is uh, truly um, coming back to the palace I'm only saying I'm not sure of it because Queen Naomi have not said anything concerning it. And again, why I'm surprised is that we all know that uh, when uh, Urola left, it wasn't even long. The king, you know, came out publicly and addressed himself formally uh, to be divorced to Urola. But surprisingly, he has not said anything concerning Queen Naomi. Probably she wants her back. Maybe I'm only saying, you know, like I used, I'm saying, because I'm not sure. It could be... Or it might be that the uh, Oni is even planning to marry another wife. Nobody knows until we hear from Queen Naomi. So guys, uh, my two cents to Oni is that he has to stay away from all those side attractions. Baby mama, all those uh, people in that palace that he knows that, that is making him not to have a stable marriage. Yes, he has to stay away from all those things. All those people, they are in consecration. So if uh, Oni wants to marry many wife, you know, let him do it uh, in a right and a respectful way. Since uh, he's entitled to marry many wife as he can take care of them, then we will all know if um, Queen Naomi is lying or not. Uh, you know, for debunking what uh, people said about she wanting to be the only wife of the king. And again, for me, someone like uh, Ashley is okay too to be with Oni because uh, she has been with him for about six years i think or more and uh, she's a traditionalist and they only need someone who is fully traditionalist like him since queen uh, queen ashley cannot be the first wife because uh, she has a, a child outside uh, outside the marriage this makes it even more easier for oni to let her stay clear away from being olori yes let her stay clear Let's uh, know for as in, you know, let her not come out to be dragging and uh, she wants to be the first wife and all that because already uh, she has child outside, which is not permitted in um, uh, Elife. And uh, making her the second wife is good while Queen Naomi will still be, still be the first wife and let him again chase away all those, uh, all those people, all those old women, every other person, let him chase them away, baby mama. All let them let them all leave the palace, so that he will you know uh, his sanity will come back to him as well. Even those people only is running package with all those people that is running package with in that palace. All of them he should just do away with all of them, if truly he wants to have a stable marriage. So my people, this is my own opinion concerning the issue of uh, Queen Naomi going back uh, to the palace, returning back to the palace. And uh, why I'm saying it's a rumor is because uh, Queen Naomi self, as now they see her so, she don't even resemble Percy where one return go back to that palace. Uh, the way me they take look at uh -huh. But it's a good thing anyway if she return back. Because uh, the way she, you know, talks about Oni, uh, I think she really had a good and uh, a romantic moment with him. Even though uh, it never lasted. Uh -huh. And again, now those bad belay people, now then cause all these things for her. All those bad, uh, bad belay people with full palace, those irrelevant people that pushed her away so that, uh, you know, so that they can be enjoying themselves. But unfortunately, it hasn't turned back on them. Oni is not even looking at them. Oni doesn't want to take them. Oni doesn't want to replace any of them to Queen Naomi's uh, position. So you see, they are the ones still losing. But my prayer is that I wish Queen Naomi will go back to Oni and we will and again have another child for him so that all this so that all of them will finally rest like rest in peace like rest they will all you know begin to take their eyes away from her uh, from her and Oni yes so that is it guys so let Oni uh, buckle up oh, because uh, you know that billionaire they are talking about is still one corner one corner you know watching Oni to see his reaction if he does if he doesn't comport himself very well and fix himself and uh, return uh, Queen Naomi back to the palace mm. that means uh, of course Queen Naomi is gone and he's gone for good 
so guys this brings me to the end of this pro uh, video my broadcast as well and um if you're new to my channel please subscribe please you know guys uh this is not my ministry oh, please so hit the like button and uh, write down your comment down the comment section below say your own opinion concerning the whole of this and thank you so much all for watching thank you so much i really appreciate you guys bye bye